Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly reading forecast for March 4th through the 10th. This will be for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. This will be a general reading looking at how the new moon energy and Mercury retrograde energy and Uranus shift are going to be affecting Leo in career, money, family relationships, spiritual development, all that good stuff. If you're looking for love readings, I do my love readings separately and there is a link in the description of this video that will take you to the love readings if you want to check that out after this video if you would like. But this is going to be all the other important parts of life for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising from March 4 through 10. Okay. So, let's see here. Here's your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, oh, and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That card fell out, so it wants to come say hi to you, Leo. After we look at these cards, I'm going to pull a different card from a different deck for angel messages or spirit messages for the week. So your first card is Nine of Air for our Leo friends so i'll zoom in so you can get a better look at it okay nine of air is a card about being really anxious and sometimes it could be insomnia also it can be that you're losing sleep it could be that you're a little bit afraid about what is coming up ahead or, or what you're going to be dealing with some of you last week before even getting into the new moon energy or into the retrograde energy, you already began experiencing shifts. Um, maybe some of you had a very intense weekend uh, before the, the Monday that we're reading on. And so some of you might already feel like, man, things are really changing. And some of you are feeling like you don't have a whole lot of control over it. And nine of air is saying you may even be losing sleep or having insomnia. The message that comes in with Nine of Air is you're worrying about some things that might not even happen. Albeit, these are logical fears. I always say this with Nine of Air. It's not like you're afraid that a bear is going to jump out of the refrigerator and eat you. Like, you're not worried about crazy, unrealistic things. You're worried about things that could happen. But with Nine of Air, it's saying that there's a good chance it might not even happen. And here's, here's, here's the twist. Even if it does happen and you can cross that bridge when you get to it, you have what it takes to get through it. I love the way that the artist in this deck showed that in this picture. I mean, here she is kind of teetering on this high peak, you know, trying to keep her balance. And she's just staying there and God knows her legs must be tired, her arms must be tired. And these birds are flying around her trying to give her a sign, trying to give her a message saying, hey, look, it's okay, let go. You can let go because, see, you have wings. We have wings. We're flying around you. We're showing you our wings. Hello, look familiar, remind you of anything. Your arms are stretched out. You've got wings. You can fly off this peak. You are not stuck here. So with nine of air or nine of swords, spirit wants you to know that some of the things you're worried about might not even happen. But if they do happen, you know, you have what it takes. You have, you've, you, you have within you what you need to get through it if need be, like if it gets to that. Okay. So try to remind yourself of this, um, Leo. And to me, it's also maybe saying some of you need to be paying attention to your sleep cycles and making sure that you're getting enough rest or enough sleep because the, the Pisces season, especially if you've got water somewhere in your moon or in your rising, even though you're a Leo sun sign, chances are if you're watching this, you may be really heavy in your feelings and that might be causing anxiety and it becomes this really nasty little never ending cycle. Uh, you can't sleep because you're anxious and you're anxious and freaked out because you're exhausted and you're not getting enough rest. And it just like repeat, 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 repeat. So do what you can, you know, maybe some positive affirmations, maybe some prayer for those of you who are open to doing that. Um, taking a nice warm bath or a nice warm shower, drinking some herbal tea, whatever it is you need to do to just try to like it, relax yourself, especially in the beginning of the week. This is going to be very important for you, many Leos. Your Wednesday, Thursday is the love card. Okay. 
So people see this and they think, oh, yay, love. And like I said, I'm not, you know, focusing too much on love in this reading. I already did the love readings and you can check those out after this if you would like. But obviously we do have a love card here and we will address that. So some of you, your love life is coming front and center midweek. Okay, some of you are having to make decisions regarding your love life or a love relationship. For some of you, it could be, you know, whether you're going to let somebody in and give them a chance. For some of you, it could be whether you're going to go next step, next level with a person. Some of you are having to pick or choose between more than one option, right? So it's going to be different for different ones of you. The one thing I want to, uh, to kind of draw your attention to here is this is a card about choices and decisions traditionally. The lover's card is a card about choices and decisions. And the number on this card is six. And the six just jumped out at me and smacked me in the face. So um, six has a message, especially for me in my love readings. When I see six in a love reading, it's telling me that somebody is putting too much importance on finances and money or you're dealing with a person whose love language is like presents and gifts and money, okay? Because we express our love in different ways. So maybe somebody, their way of showing appreciation, maybe it's you. Or maybe it's somebody you're dealing with where it's like if you guys have an argument, okay, fine, I'll buy you a nice present or I'll take you out to like a nice restaurant and then that should take care of it. Well, no, because... The gifts don't always fix things like there's still things that need to be talked about. There's still things that need to come to an understanding. There's still like I love you's or I'm sorry's that need to be said. And so this is something that's coming in for some of you midweek, especially coming into the whole energy with um, uh, the new moon in Pisces and the retrograde that we're having because the retrograde is asking us to look at what needs to be changed and what we kind of need to tweak in our life right and the new moon in pisces is receiving opening our hearts to receive okay so some of you are opening up to receive gifts maybe you have a generous person coming in and maybe you need to learn to receive and it may not be in your love life for some of you maybe it's friends or family who are being generous towards you and you need to allow yourself to receive or you need to give yourself permission to receive okay um and for other ones of you you might be telling yourself that you don't deserve to have friends or a social life or a love life because you're being hard on yourself for where you are in your financial situation. You might feel like, well, but I can't spend money or I can't take somebody or I can't do these things. And Spirit is trying to say, look, there are so many other ways to show your love. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. And the right person is going to want you for you, not because of what job you have, not because you have a car or you don't have a car or what kind of car or whatever it is. The right person's not looking at you for your wardrobe and your bank account and where you're going to take them to eat. Right person wants to be with you. Okay, so I think that for a lot of you Leos, you're kind of reevaluating or revisiting your relationship with love and your relationship with money and how those two things interact with one another all right your friday saturday and sunday is the star i love the star card beautiful card and i really love the way that this artist drew the star card in this deck it's really pretty so um some of you may have aquarius in your moon or in your rising okay and you may be coming into that aquarius energy some of you may be dealing with an aquarius but Overall, I think the majority of it here is that many of you Leos are coming into the star card energy, okay? The star card has many beautiful messages that come with it. And I think the one that people love the most or like is most comforting for them to know is when the star card appears, it's letting you know that the worst of something is over. You've been through the battle. You've been through the trials. You've, you know, suffered whatever you have suffered, and now it's time to put it behind you. Now you can expect for things to begin to get better. You've completed some cycle, you've passed some test, and now things are going to get better. And now you can take those experiences, you can take those feelings, and you can take that chaos and turn it into beauty. 
turn it into inspiration and you can begin to make long-term plans that are actually going to set um be stabilized or or take root in fact this is very confirming and again i am not an astrology specialist in any way i'm not like an astrology expert but from what i understand or from what i have been reading uranus the planet uranus is coming into a new cycle into taurus and that's going to last the next seven years. So whatever you're reworking, you're taking advantage of this Mercury retrograde energy to rework or replan. You're, you're coming into that new energy with a planetary shift into Taurus. And so whatever plans you're making, you can expect for them to carry through for quite some time, at least the next seven years, if not longer. Okay, so this is the time, especially a lot of you Leos, who've been going through a lot of transition. Maybe you have felt for a really long time like, man, there's no stability in my life or it's like I do something and it falls apart and I try this and it doesn't happen. That cycle is behind you and now you can begin making long-term plans that will succeed, that will lead you to multi um, uh, avenues or streams of income for some of you. You know, Star Card is also a message of happy or comfortable retirement. So you're getting stabilized, okay? You're getting stabilized. Let's check out your angel message for the week or your um, spirit message for the week from the oracle cards. And I always say this, guys, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks that may resonate with you more since these are general readings or it might give you little extra bits of information that are tailored to you and your energy so in some ways it could be like getting your own little personal reading okay so i would check out your moon sun and rising sign videos as well this card seems to want to come out it was doing some weird little thing so let's see what you have here. You have the perfect key. Guess what the perfect key is? It's you, Leo. You're the perfect key. Um, so we did talk about freedom, right? With the star card. We talked about how something really positive was happening. Something was shifting where some cycle was ending and you were coming into being able to create new things in your life like coming into that sense of freedom you're not stuck anymore you're not trapped you're not having to worry about that suffering this card really kind of hits home it, it kind of comes in confirming that for you letting you know that this is time where you are going to be able to set yourself free out of some difficult situation this is a card about happiness encouragement being able to unlock your feelings let your feelings out Okay, so there's a lot of uh, symbolism here having to do with coming out of that cage, opening up your heart. So you're finding the things that are bringing you joy. You're finding the things that are bringing you inspiration and happiness that don't have to do with money that we talked about with uh, the midweek with that love card with the number six, right? So this is just spirit really wanting to hit that home for you, Leo, to help you to realize this is the time that things are shifting and getting better. This is the time to find joy and happiness, to free yourself out of that mental prison or that mental slavery that you've been in. There's so much in, in, in programming out there right now that's designed to make us feel like we're not good enough and we're not going to be good enough until we... um have a certain car or a certain job or a certain kind of clothes or a certain brand of shoes or we look a certain way and we feel that until we do that we're not going to be enough and a lot of you leos are, are coming out of that belief you're you're being freed from that and you're finding joy and you're finding happiness okay you're finding freedom so again that's really positive energy coming in. Watch your moon, sun, and rising sign for more info specifically for you and your planetary placements. I am more than happy to do a private reading for you guys. Um, I have the Calendly link in the description of the video that will take you to scheduling a reading. The only thing is I am booked until May. And please don't yell at me. Please don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. Um, the calendar filled up very fast and it was very unexpected. And I'm going to do my best to 
get through the recorded readings as quickly as I can and hopefully begin opening up space sooner. But as it stands right now, there's a bit of a wait for readings. I don't blame you if you can't wait that long for me. I understand I'm not going to be hurt. I'll just say, you know, be sure that you check out your Moon, Sun, and Rising sign videos because that'll give you more info. And I'm going to commit to doing the pick of cards more regularly because that can be very specific to energy too. Instead of these readings, which are a little bit more general, at least with the pick a card, your energy is gravitating towards something. So it's kind of like getting a personal reading or it's a little bit more personal than the generals. So I'll be doing those too, especially since the calendar is, is so full and some of you might not be able to get in right away. Okay, Patreon, that doesn't apply. Patreon, you guys are still going to get the readings. You guys are still going to get your, your, your monthly readings. You don't have to wait until until May. I have Patreon time set aside for my Patreon people. But I thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, thank you to my rock stars. A lot of you, I've been noticing there's been some really nasty comments. And I'll see them and I'm like, okay, let me get through these readings so I can get to the comments and report them or flag them or block those people and by the time i hop back onto youtube to address that comment it's already gone because one of you lovely people already reported it and already had it taken down so that positivity that you're putting out there and keeping the energy clean and light and happy I pray that it be returned to you tenfold, that you receive that same love and support, that you receive that same positivity. I thank you for being here. I'm, I'm honored to read for you and to be a part of your journey. And I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Um, if the reading didn't resonate for you, I thank you for understanding and knowing that there could be another reader out there who's going to be just perfect and resonate with you and to just let it fly and to let it slide. That's a beautiful thing too. So I just thank all of you for being here. I thank you for letting me be part of your journey, like I said. So I'm wishing you a very happy new moon, my dears. And I will be on again next week. And I will do a pick a card before then. All right, my dears. Take care.